We set up Rinaldo's in early 2015 and we were originally based on the other side of Kendall. And about two and a half years ago, we had an offer to move to a brand new build at Lakeland Food Park. We're now situated in a busy hub where you can find other artisan food makers. We've got an award-winning bakery and a cake producer right next door to us. There's a farm shop, a pie maker, and all manner of speciality food producers. So it really is the perfect location for our business. We're completely committed to using only 100% Arabica coffee. We like the complexity of the flavors and the provenance and efficacy of the coffee. We, where we can, source directly from the countries. And even when we use established brokers, we're absolutely convinced that the traceability and sustainability of all the farms is there because we have full write-ups and images. That way we know the workers are in good conditions, they get paid a good wage, and we get a fabulous raw product. So we roast our coffee in our Gießen roaster. It's a 15 kilo capacity, but we roast in about 12 kilo batches so that we can maximize the sweetness of the coffee. Every roast that we do, we log on some quite sophisticated computer software so that we can get a great consistency in the roast. After the roast, we cup the coffee. In other words, we taste it and check for any imperfections. And before it goes out, we want it to taste like it should. Anything that doesn't meet the mark doesn't go out. So before I started the business, I had a coffee van for about three years and I was standing out in all sorts of weather serving coffee. And I basically decided I'd like to roast my own coffee couldn't afford it and so set up a crowdfunding scheme to raise about £30,000 for the Geese and Coffee Roaster. It's built in Holland, it took about 20 weeks to hand build and we managed to raise a third of the money from the crowdfunding scheme in about a month. The rest of the money came from the sale of the van and a little bit of savings that I had. It was an amazing experience to receive that money from family and customers and friends that I'd made over the years who just wanted me to get up and running roasting and realize my dream. We supply lots of cafes in Kendall and throughout the Lake District and increasingly wider in the UK. We have a good strong online presence and people can order through our website. And most of all, we love having people at our roastery. That way they can pick lots of different freshly roasted coffee and we can talk to our customers and show them just how welcoming we are. We also supply lots of varied brewing equipment. We have top-end espresso machines, both for home and commercial. And we're really committed to expanding our provision of different brewing methods. So we sell Aeropresses, Chemexes, V60s, etc. We love to encourage people to use coffee in different ways and enjoy the taste of differently brewed coffee. A vibrant part of our business is this, the training side. We not only provide training for our wholesale accounts, which is uh, the cafes and offices that we supply, so that cafe staff can work to the best practice, be confident that they're serving the coffee well and serve our coffee at its best. But we also run near weekly courses for customers who book online. So it's general members of the public who are interested in coffee and want to learn the process a little bit better and we have a whole variety of courses from intro barista courses to latte art to brewing techniques. It's a lot of fun and people learn an awful lot when they come on the course. We love to liaise with other artisan businesses in our area. So for example, we have our aprons made and designed with a local manufacturer our cups and our tampers. Um, that way we can help build a local economy and show that local really does mean local.
We'd like to think of Ronaldo's as the friendly face of specialty coffee. We always maintain the highest standards. And at the same time, we want to remove ourselves from a lot of the pretentiousness that you get in the specialty coffee world. So we love having people in our roastery at the espresso bar, having a great crack with them. We want them to enjoy the coffee and really have an education at the same time. In the last 12 months or so, we've been acutely aware of how important it is to be plastic free. It's something I wanted to do for quite a while. And with the attention that's come to light with all the plastic in the oceans, we thought it was a really important part for our packaging. So we spent quite a while working with some amazing designers and great local manufacturers to find a solution. We now have no foil, no plastic in our packaging. Everything's eco-friendly, so it's either recyclable or biodegradable, and we're absolutely delighted with the results. It's robust, it's fabulous for retail, and it just looks amazing. We're a small, independent artisan company, but that doesn't mean we think small. We like to be expansive in what we do and creative, and we hope we pass that on to everybody that's involved with us.